after the marvelous comeback and finishing off the preseason 1 to 4. The Splash Mania has reconsidered signing back Trey Sean Maguire. Throw all the hard fight and letting the opposing drop 150 they pulled off the immaculate you for starting me. Yo. Listen. Chat, I'm gonna forgive some of y'all. Alright, we got another half of this video. I'm gonna give you the 100. I'm gonna finish this one, but I, I, I don't have time for NBA ballers. I actually gotta go help somebody. Okay, I know I was y'all. I'm gonna keep it 100. I did watch. Uh, I didn't try to, but we ran over time. I think we did the rated a little too long. All right, so I will play NBA Ballers tomorrow. I will play NBA Ballers tomorrow. Hey, hold on, Jones. I don't got time right now. Let's go. Years, you're currently engaged, and you have- somebody, niggas, my people. It's, it's the same sister that just scammed me out of $30. She needs my help. Looking forward to your fair- All day tomorrow? Wedding, Duh, all stream tomorrow. All stream tomorrow. You find out your Prince Charming is not a toad. Explain why you're here today. My fairy tale wedding- Bro, we- I'm gonna be honest. This is not fair. We got to find one where SOT is on the hot seat. The dudes keep being on the hot seat. We got to find one where SOT on the hot seat. We need one. It's on the I'm line. I'm find one. Um, me and Anthony have been together for two years. We recently got engaged. Uh, I've been planning this wedding my whole life. I have a scrapbook. I've been, all my hopes and dreams oh are in here. Wow. wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's really pretty. Thank you. I love it. It's beautiful. Um, I just, I really just want to know if he's cheating or not. Because if he family. is, I will not marry him. I'm not going to marry a liar, and I'm not going to waste my time. So, yeah. You know, this wedding, it means a lot to you. I mean, you got your book that you've been planning this since you were, like, a little girl? Yes, yes, absolutely. And so you're really looking forward to this. Yeah, I mean, I love him, and I want to be with him forever. So it means Your a lot Honor, to me. Your Honor, I've never cheated. I've, I've always been faithful hmm. since day one. I, I love her. I always... Breaking, the reported veterans that wanted out of Houston have doubled down with leaving stating, all that do is sell he don't even pay for cable in the clubhouse, f*** him. <laughs> yo, yo, first of all, f*** you. Second of all, just look, I, I, I can see this prospect right here, man. He a real laid back prospect. He a laid back prospect that, uh, that can uh, get a bucket. <clears throat> I believe in him. KD type B. I always loved her. I, I want to be her Prince Charming, and I want to marry her for the rest of my life. Because, Mr. Johnson, that's a lot of pressure. Wrong. I mean, you see the book she's got there. I mean, yeah. this has been <laughs> on her mind. I mean, this is something she's looked forward to. Yeah. And out of all the guys that she could have had, she's chosen you. Yes, Your Honor, and I'm ready for it. Are you sure you're ready for it? I'm confident. 100% I'm ready. Well, because she says you're cheating. I'm not cheating. I never cheated. Mm -hmm. That's a lie. I am interested in knowing how this fairy tale began. My family and his family live next door to each other. So okay. I would go over to visit with my family and I would see him. He would always try to talk to me and I was always ignoring him and I didn't want anything to do with him. This Aunt Katie or Joe Johnson. Eventually he caught my attention because he wouldn't leave me alone. Man, so I agreed bucket. to go on a date. I gave him my phone number. Um, he took me out. Actually, the first time we ever went out together, he took me on a hike to a beautiful waterfall. It was really romantic. We had a wow. picnic. Yeah, it was really, really nice. It was different, but I loved Look at this glasses, jacket, and beanie combo. Eyeballs don't even look real in this. So for my birthday, he took me to a hotel. Um, when we got there, it was beautiful. The bath was drawn. There was roses everywhere, champagne, music Oh, look playing. at you. <laughs> all right, all right, Mr. Johnson. Well, we don't need you. Right. We're without you. All right, so we got this lovely beginning. He is, you definitely rolling out the pr Prince Charming vibe. Yeah. So how did we get to here? What were the things that made you go, my fairy tale is wrapping up? What was the first thing that made you think that? So first thing first is our sex life. Um, when we first got together, of course, we were in our honeymoon stage. We were really in love. We were having sex three, two, three times a day. Um, okay. Now it's Going moved stupid. on to like maybe I'm lucky if I can get it once or twice a week. Mm. So uh, that's a been a very big problem. We don't know what their reasoning is. You could you your she could be tripping this shit and yelling at him and he might not want none. You know what I'm saying? Like time to bull get thrown off. Like, so we don't know what that is. Um, excuse us, ref. Don't don't just take that out. Take that out. Mm -mm. Problem. Um, also, hey, I... Honor, I got a second job, so... And that's just a working man. That's, good. that's a working man. Good, good steal, boy. Good steal. Working, working the man. graveyard shift, so 
that's why Y'all always want some. Down, Shut up. I mean, I'm working overnight, and I really don't no, have time true. no more because I'm tired and I'm trying to make money to give her a fairy tale wedding mm. that she wants. I say, get that, but you know, you can't throw Apples. the baby out with the bathwater. I mean, you yeah, know. Now you know what's crazy. This couple reminds me of that one video of the black dude laying on the white girl and he kept calling her mommy not knowing she was filming what the fuck la <laughs> I don't know what the f you're talking about. You're right. Yeah, you. I mean, yes, you got to put in the time at work, but you also got to attend the work. You just can't type you know, right. leave her out, Nicole. Thank All right, you. I'm going to have to respectfully dis disagree, Mr. Cutler. What? Her expectation with him having a second job and the... And the Graveyard shift. Yes, ma'am. He, she can't expect him to be putting it down three times a now. day That's because a he. I mean, he. I got work to do. It's cool if you want to be piped down three times a day, but baby, do you want to be piped down three times a day, or you want the lights on? Come on now. You gotta have some energy to go to work. <laughs> so I can't. And I understand. I mean, she's trying to hurt our player. Yeah, I do understand. What are you it's doing? Just, it just makes me feel bad sometimes. Like, I, I don't feel that. as confident about our relationship as I used to because of that reason, so. Well, I I'm just saying, there's the middle ground, because some people can hold down two jobs and still put it down when they need to. Just <laughs> 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 pick me ass nigga. Shut up. <laughs> right. do you feel like Mr. Cutler just patted himself on the back? Hey, look at this white nigga step like, shit, me too. <laughs> Do you feel like Mr. Keller just too. patted himself on the back? Is that what you like? That's how I feel. His arm looked double jointed. Yeah. Did you just you know, pat yourself on the back, Mr. Keller? I'm not that's... calling any names. I'm just saying that. Uh -huh. that... Oh, Chad, yo, Chad, this nigga at the party. Damn. Damn. Yo, nigga, don't be going a couple of rounds. Shit. Shit, with me, it's a guaranteed three rounds. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, fuck. This is couple. And so you really look. Fuck you. Up. All right. <laughs> Niggas All right, right, Mr. I'm J telling you. I'm tired. I'm trying to make money. Stand. It's just. It just makes me feel bad sometimes. Like I, I don't understand feel that. as calm. Expectation with him having a second job and the and oh, the it's graveyard so get shift. Here. Yes. Chill out, bro. Right. Stop. He she can't expect him to be putting it down three times a day because he. <laughs> I mean, hey, mighty, I ain't want to say it. You said it, not me. He got to ask. Do you understand? It's just. It's, <laughs> so oh, yeah. I can't. We're gonna leave right here. I don't know what we're saying. I do understand. It's just it just makes me feel bad sometimes. Like I, I don't feel that. as confident about our relationship as I used to because of that reason, so. Well, I I'm just saying, there's the middle ground, because some people can hold down two go. jobs and still put it down when they need to. <laughs> 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 Ugh, look at her little face. Ugh, that broke me fucking her up. Oh, my God. <laughs> I broke me fucking her up, boy. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> right. Yeah. Do you feel like Mr. Cutler just patted himself on the back? <laughs> <laughs> His arm looked double jointed. Yeah. Did <laughs> you just pat yourself on the back, Mr. Cutler? I'm not calling any names. I'm just saying that. Uh, it is <laughs> Whatever, man. You know, what other warning signs have you seen? So I found a text message in his phone. Um, I actually have it right here, if I can show you. Please, Ron, would you get that uh, evidence, please? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am. All right, so you were going through his phone, I take it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was. And you found this text exchange between Mr. Johnson and another woman. Yes. And she writes, hi, you little sexy. Oh. Smiley with the eyes and the laughing tears. Like, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he responds, that's what's up. I don't want your boyfriend getting mad with you. No boyfriend, I'm single. Oh, what's up? Oh, God. Need another one of them hugs. There was nothing like that. There was an old friend, and that was mm -hmm. at the beginning of our relationship when we first got together. When I when I got with her, I cut out everything off with her. Hey, man, this nigga here be replying, boy. Hold on, nigga. And I found the butt check your Discord That's DM. That's a block. That's a block right there. That's in the beginning of the talking stage. Hey, I'm with him. Huh. This nigga dropping buckets. I'm with him. That's a talk, bro. We, yo, you gonna, you, you gonna tell me as soon as we start talking, you was faithful to me, all, all loyal to me? Come on, bro. 
You gotta give him some time to cut off his hoes. I'm gonna give you some time to cut off my hoes. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then we we won. Good defense. Good defense. I didn't talk to her no more, and I ain't talked to her since. This well, nigga then, help clarify a couple of things. Uh -huh. When you say I don't want your boyfriend to get mad with you, if y'all just friends, why would her boyfriend yes, be getting women mad? Women don't cheat. I mean, That's cause I still don't want to talk to nobody who got a boyfriend, cause I ain't trying to get in no drama myself. Man, that nigga getting buckets. I'm a calm person. And then when she says, I need another one of them hugs, that means there was at least one hug. Yeah. And she wants another one. Yeah, because I was walking down the street and I had seen her, and this was this this <laughs> was before me and Chloe had actually got together and I gave her a hug. It was it was nothing serious. And they got a funeral suit on though, so I don't know, man. <laughs> this shit crazy. But, so Ms. Kemp, you don't believe that. No, I don't. Okay, so He's because if I just saw one of my friends walking down the street and I gave them a hug, I wouldn't text them and be like, oh, I need another hug. It wouldn't. That's cap, bro. Girls be asking where they hugs at all the time. All the time. They be, oh, I'll give my hug. Yo, back up. Mean anything to me. That's no, I don't believe it at all. I just I, I I'm, I'm calling Cap. Let me ask you this. Was this an old text or was this a recent text? It wasn't recent since we had been engaged, but uh -huh. it has still had been when we were together. So right. that's all that matters. I don't care mm -hmm. if it was not last week or six months ago. It we still happened. Worried. Have we you ever worried. seen him with another woman that made you go, what is this? Actually, I have. Okay. Um, so like I said before, me and Anthony's family live next door to each other. I actually have a picture. Can I show you? Absolutely. Sure. Step to, Step the, monitor, to the monitor. Please. So this is oh, where Anthony's family ready. lives. That's where mine okay. live. Okay. Um, we were over there visiting with our family. I was next door, and he was, of course, across the street. Um, I saw a car pull up, and they come to my family's house. I don't know who it is. It's a woman. She comes knocking on the door, and she says, "Hey, is Anthony here?" And I was like, who are you and why are you here? She was like, oh, I'm just an old friend. I saw his car in the driveway, so I thought I would stop by. Hmm. And I was like, okay, um, well, no, he's not here. And I slammed the door in her face. So she was like, you know, walked away, got back in her car. You slammed? Uh, damn, rude. That could be a friend. That could be like somebody from high school or something. Wait a minute, damn. The door in her face? Yeah. She seemed like one of them girlfriends that don't allow you to have no friends as girls. Damn. Chat, we up. Damn! Because I don't, I don't like that. I feel like that was very disrespectful. She knows that that's not his house. Why would you come that. there asking for him? You know I what mean, I mean? No. How would she know that, that, that you're talking to him and you live across the street? What are you talking about? Can I take a message? Can I tell him who stopped by? Nothing. No, she you, doesn't need to talk to him. It's you okay. slandered her <laughs> on her face. Yeah. Mm -mm. Why would you go to Rep, my family's house when you... They got Draymond in the game. Tech, tech, tech. She playing too fucking rough. She playing too fucking rough. She gonna hurt somebody. You know, they've lived there for years. You know where he's at. You know what well, I mean? Was the car parked closer to your family members? It house? was in just in the middle of the driveway. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. So she had to know he had a relationship with you. Exactly. To know to even come over exactly. there. Exactly. And that's where the disrespect exactly. comes in. Exactly. I'm still not convinced, but. <laughs> no. I mean, she's... There's it... more. There's more. There's All right. more. Oh, okay, there's more. Let's so, see what else she got. One, she gets back G. in the car, and I'm, I go to that window right there, and I'm looking. Um, she's texting. Uh, my fiancé comes running out the house and gets in the car with her. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. So I don't do anything. They pull off, and I'm FaceTiming. I'm calling. I'm texting. I mean, like, I think 22, 24. I just got in the car. Why are you blowing my shit up like this? Miss calls. No answer. No answer, no, no response, answer. No, no nothing. Didn't even acknowledge no the answer. fact that I was calling him. Like, I, didn't even text me back and be like, oh, I'll call you in a minute. Nothing. Just didn't acknowledge me. How long was he gone? Ain't looking no good right now. But like, on. almost an hour. Yeah. OK. Reports are in. Veteran Drake said this man leading them young niggas astray. All he do is sell he sold our championship series. I heard he just using them for three more game checks so he can hit Cancun in the summer. Grimy. Hey, that is well, that's, that's fake news. I will be suing you for defamation. Hey, yeah. so he comes back. Fake what news, happens? I, know I, didn't I didn't cheat. That was an old friend. Mm. Uh, well, that's oh, usually, that, usually that. what you cheat with is an old friend. <laughs> it Thank was you. nothing like that. So. The car pulls back up in the driveway. Yes, the car pulls back up in the driveway, and she quickly pulls off, and he gets out and just all casual walks back to his family member's house. Mm -hmm. um, and I go up to him. I knock on the door, banging on the door. I'm yelling, who is she? Where did you go? What were you doing? Why Yo, are you ignoring crazy me? crazy as fuck. Um, and he said, oh, we just went to the store. 
And at this point, you are hot. You've been like blowing up his store, phone. Right. Like, what did you go to the store for? I ain't gonna lie. He just shot a horrible shot. Don't don't shoot no shit like that again. All right. You, look, you having a good game, but nigga, it's a team game. You fucking up right now. There's no bags. You didn't buy anything new. You're he tripping. couldn't produce any evidence to show me that they went to the store. So, yeah. All right, Mr. Johnson. She. Thank you, Miss Kemp. You can step back to the podium. Mr. Johnson, this ride to the store. Who is that? Yes, sir. Is that the only ride you took? Yes, sir. It was. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. It was. Miss Kim, how far is the closest store to to your to your family mm, member's house? There's a couple, but the closest one maybe seven, five to seven minutes. And he was gone how long? Almost an hour. Okay, Mr. Johnson, why were you I don't gone believe an no hour time. for a five to seven minute trip? First of all, she was an old old friends of, of the family. She's been in the family for years and. It was nothing serious like that. She came by and she said she was going to the store and I needed to go to the store to get something for my family members' kids. So I was like, yeah, I'll ride with you. So did your friend stop by <laughs> she like a your bird. family member's house for the sole and express purpose of seeing if you wanted to go to the store? No, it was not. That, that wasn't the purpose <laughs> of her stopping by there. She was just stopping by to see how I was doing, just checking up. But she had a phone. Yeah. So she could call you. I mean, yeah, but she can text you. Y'all don't. So sometimes people just go by people's houses and just check up on them, see how they're doing. No, no, they no, don't. They I don't, don't do that. that. Do you do that? No, I don't, I don't do, do that. that. Yeah, I would. I don't do it. Nobody do it to me, but somebody do it in the world. So terrible shot. Listen, bro, it's it's a bad shot, but I'm kind of believing it. But chill out. I'll say this: the fact <laughs> that this woman went to. <laughs> Miss Kemp's family member's house. Uh -huh. I mean, it's not like she's trying to hide something. Exactly. No, so, no, that's true. I think she true. was trying to let me know that she was there. Bro, what the fuck are you talking about? If that makes sense. She was trying to let her presence be known. That's pretty bold. Right. It, I agree. And Reports that's why she of says it that Sock demand a drug test of the young six apostrophe nine rookie who was shot twenty in the first half. No, no, he he's good. He he's good, bro. I'm telling you, he's clean. We make sure he was good. Disrespectful. Right. Exactly. I'm now you get it. Where, where about you try and cut? No, cut that. looking a little bad. Oh, yeah. She got I, I, four I'm still on the, the fence about that one. That could go either way. She in way. trouble. I, I was no disrespect intended. She's just thinking it like that. She comes up with these crazy stories in her head. I'm not crazy. I, I wouldn't have any stories to create if you didn't give <laughs> me reasons to think certain things. Zach, there I mean, is no rookie wall, man. This, 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 this is a good prospect. Nothing's going on. I'm all, buckets, I've been all faithful and I always will be faithful. I think we've heard enough. Right. Okay. And the, the reasons that Ms. Kemp has are there's been a decrease. If this nigga sell me, I'm going to be fucking sick. If he sells me, he's Michael Carter Williams. You understand me? You bet not fucking sell me. This is sex. Uh -huh. He's got a text message about from another woman talking about she wants another hug. You got the girl who comes to the family member's house looking for him. They go to the store and they're gone for an hour. Right. And for those reasons, Nigga you believe nice that he's we cheating. We need mama Absolutely. mentality. And if he's cheating, this fairy tale wedding that you've been it's looking over. so forward to. It's over. I will not, not marry happen. him. Nope. If if he is cheating on me, I he could the ring is off, I'm done, and I'm not marrying him. Man, give her a Mr. Ten. Johnson, you know, you're saying you're working Just two jobs, to try to give her the fairy tale wedding. How does this make you feel? I Did mean, it just it makes me feel upset that she don't trust me. I mean, I've been faithful since day one. I ain't never gave her a reason that I ever cheated on her. Well, this court has done a complete and thorough investigation. At this time, the court would like to call forensic voice analyst Guy Wolf voice. to determine is oh, he man. cheating. <laughs> Look what they doing to my prospect man voice act. What you mean by voice? What a machine that <laughs> junk science. <laughs> the fuck they find this body I'm you I'm well, you're up. It is scammer. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, bro. It's rigged. How about you? Good, this is rigged. Good, good to see you as always. You as well. Mr. Uh, Wolf, would you just share briefly your credentials for the court? Yes, ma'am. I've been in law enforcement for more than 20 years, okay, most of which was spent as a criminal investigator. I've been a forensic voice analyst for more than 12 years and have conducted hundreds and hundreds of exams. All right. I Hold mean, on. he locked yo, he locked the innocent niggas up. Free the guys, free the guys, free the guys. Ms. Kemp, I saw you just took a really huge breath. I'm nervous. 
I mean, this is, I, I don't want it to be true because then it means like everything's over. So I, <laughs> I would yeah, rather ICBC. me be wrong than him be wrong because I do want to be with him and I do want to marry him. You have a reason to absolutely be nervous. So no, you, I get it. Let's take a look at the first Drake question Hads, you this asked. nigga got this Ben Simmons ass nigga shooting from half court and shit them the niggas not oh. like that for real. Oh, 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 back up hating ass nigga. Here we go. Question you asked. Did you have sexual intercourse with the girl Miss Kemp saw you get in the car and leave with from your family member's house? Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. You're right, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. No. No buckets, no buckets. What did the forensic voice analysis determine? The voice analysis determined that he was being truthful. Yes, sir! Pulls up, three-pointer. Yes! Bang! Oh, bang! It. bang! Oh, it's it's good. good! Wins oh, the game you. at the buzzer! Pulls I up. told y'all, this is a, a, a light bucket! A slight bucket! Well, Your Honor. Nah, bro, shorty tweaking and possessive AF. Does she work? Why she got all this energy? Why He's he can't have no friends? Usually it's the ones that always accuse of cheating be cheating JB themselves. Fucking cheating. Yo, you know what, Jay Diggy? You know what, Jay Diggy? Get on the court. Get on the court, man. You did good right there. Well, get, get on the court, man. Get, go ahead and get your bucket. Everybody getting buckets around here. Now, there's a little smile. Yeah, I mean. Okay. He's got his Cheshire on. I just saw it. It came up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But we do have one more question. Let's take a look at the next question. Have you had physical sexual contact with any woman other than Miss Kemp since your relationship began in April of 2017? No. What did the forensic voice analysis determine? The voice analysis determined that he was being truthful. <laughs> Oh, wrong one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nine assists. Curry catches. Three-pointer. Bang! A light bucket! I gotta have a talk with Xavier Mumford after the game. A light bucket! Give me another one! I Curry need another to one. Shot clock at seven. Curry fakes. Puts up a three. Bang! Seth and Curry from downtown. It's a ten-point game. Killing them, Coats. Killing them, Coats. First overall pick, uh, he on his victor shit. He on his victor shit. Set. I'm smelling the vibe. This nigga, the 2K cover athlete. <laughs> hey, hey, that nigga is back. That nigga is back. Oh, God, nigga. Hey, that nigga, nigga face. This nigga straight bucket. All right, Miss Kim. Oh, there she go. Shit. Go to me. Right. So I guess fairy tales can come true. Yes, come they on, can, man. Mr. Cup. <laughs> yes, they can. You come just grin it. Happy and I know you are. I'd rather, like I said, I'd rather me be wrong than him. So I'll, I'll. You know, I'll probably, he'll not, he'll be mad for a while about it, but I probably... <laughs> He's grinning too. Because he's happy, happy that this weight has been lifted off of his shoulders, right? Right. I'm happy she finally got the two. Chad. It's gonna be a good season. Back to back in preseason. All the hate adversity, I give us two prospects. A low-key bucket and a straight bucket. You know what I'm saying?